This is a video on how to transfer poses, moves, and OBJs between Equalizer and Maya. First thing we're going to look at is poses. So here we've got a nice track, although it's not to scale. What we want to do is we want to take a particular frame, let's say 100. We know, we know that we can store the pose here, and then of course it goes red. But what if we want to take this pose and store it outside of Equalizer? So we can do is that we can go to the pose saver. So we've got three types of objects we can store poses for: cameras, objects, and 3D models. So we can go to go export, and then let's say we do frame 100. You don't actually have to save, put these frame numbers in here, but of course it's much better form if you do so. So we hit apply. Then if we look at the file it's actually quite simple it's in ZXY rotation order and it's just six columns three translations and three rotations so then if you want to import it back in and you know, let's say we mess up this frame we could always of course recall the pose but we want to pull the one from disk so we hit import and it comes back in. Now if we want to store the pose and then undo the import, we've got this intermediate step here and the reason for this is that there's no command in Equalizer in their Python to copy something directly from disk to the store pose. So if you hit undo import then we still have the pose stored. So you can bring in a pose, import it, hit store pose and then undo it which you'll sometimes do with the jump to pose and transform to pose tool and we've got all three types here so the next thing we want to do is bring in Cooper files from Maya or well, before that what we want to do is we want to see there's also a pose import and export inside of equalizer inside of Maya as well so right here you can import and export the same pose files and it will work with objects or with cameras so right here we've got a move for the camera and we're going to export a Cooper file and this will always be baked to ZXY order and in world space. Now even though we've got to move an equalizer we have to send this out again because it's to a very different scale. So let's just take a look at that ASCII Cooper file briefly and we see that it's like a regular Houdini or Nuke Chan file except for it's got a header line. So this defines what's going to be in the rest of the columns and we've got the frame number, virtual track, means uh, TZ, virtual east-west means TX, virtual north-south in this case means uh, TY and virtual pan tilt roll and fo animated focal length. In the Cooper file it's basically right hand space but a couple of the polarities are reversed but Equalizer knows that's coming in and it'll automatically convert everything. Now the fact that this frame number starts at zero like it does in Maya is very important because when we bring things into equalizer we have to respect this because the equalizer importer is going to ignore the other numbers so let's take a look at that so we go here we've got the move and even though we've got a pop right there that's okay because the cooper file is going to fix that we import the cooper we're going to have to put one here and if we don't everything's going to get offset by one frame so we bring this in here and now it's looking nice we don't know that it's looking nice because we don't have the right geometry so let's bring in that so we're going to take this right here export as a regular OBJ and we'll bring in this geometry the normal equalizer way plaster environment so here we see that it's working very nicely. Now we see that these points are all messed up. But before we go to that, let's see why we have to also one frame. So this says zero, but in our Cooper file, it said zero as well. But when they wrote this importer, they said, oh, well, are we going to use this frame number as our master? Or are we going to use this frame number here? 
or we're going to use what's on the frame line. So we could actually make this frame 100 and the timeline would compensate. So the decision they made is the first frame, no matter what this is called, the first frame in the frame line is going to be 1. So for that reason, when we do the importer here, we have to put an offset of 1. Now, if Maya had started 1,001, we'd have to put minus 1,000 and similar time offsets. So let's say we want to get these points imported. We can go to Maya. We select these points here. We'll go to Minko's export survey right here. So plaster cam survey. Save it. So only do one group at a time there. And then if we look at that, we have an ASCII file. Now we see there's a little bit of an error here. So these are survey points. So the reason it's got this extension right here is because this point four appears two different places inside the Maya file. And that's not acceptable because there's an ambiguity. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a search and replace. So right here we copy this and we replace with nothing. So it got rid of that. But then the other problem we have is that equalizer, when it's exporting to Maya, is putting a P in front of every single point. And the reason it's doing that is that in Maya, any node that starts with a number instead of a letter is illegal. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put in P here and then do replace all. If you don't fix it, when you go back to the equalizer, it will have a gigantic error. So I hit save and we go to equalizer. We'll see what's going on. So these points all, again, these names would be illegal in Maya. So when they got exported to Maya, they, a P for point was automatically appended. So we're going to bring these in here. And then we're going to import the survey text file. So instead of new points, we're going to add the survey to the existing points. And this has been repaired by our search and replace. Now bring it in. And now they're all correct. And with the same thing when we export the points from this blaster from the object track, those are going to be in world space and those will have to be edited in the text file. So now let's bring in a Cooper file for the object track. Go here and we hit Cooper. Go to Equalizer. So we look at this, the object's file is going to be a very different place. So now when we bring in an object group, we have to make sure that that's at 1. It's nice to be able to scale these. So we can scale object groups like this. The problem is when we do a Cooper import, that'll mess us up very badly. So let's be, so we know that we can scale an object group to be bigger or smaller, and it'll still always look the same from camera. So when you scale an object group, it could be a small blaster close to camera or a big blaster far away from camera, and it'll all look the same unless you're doing it stereoscopic where it won't work. So let's set this to one so that our Cooper import will look proper. So make sure that blaster is selected. Import Cooper. Have to put in one in this particular case, not in every case. I've got the blaster. And it doesn't matter whether you've got import focal length on or off. So now it's brought on the move. Of course, our point cloud is still incorrect. So what we'd like to do is to get that OBJ. So let's go to Maya. So we've got an OBJ here. So this is going to be a little different strategy. What we're going to do is with this auto key off, we're going to set the object group to zero. And that's so 
then we take this blaster and export it as an OBJ, it's going to be at home. Export selection, OBJ, blaster object, so in the blaster here we don't have any models yet so we bring this in in the blaster and so now that's correct so it's very important when you're in Maya that your OBJs are exported with no transforms on top of them so that's correct now we see that the points are incorrect so we can bring those in now we've got a slightly different strategy for that here we've decided that we're we're gonna have to be parked at the same frame so in Maya let's park at our first frame and we're going to take all of these survey points I'm going to export them here I'm going to export them as a txt file which is blaster object survey txt again we have to inspect this file to make sure that there is no errors okay so these prefixes here have to be removed. So again, I'm going to do it in two steps and make it more obvious what I'm doing. We ha this is the root. If you've got two different point fours like we do in this Maya scene, it's going to put in this prefix to tell which one of the two point fours you're dealing with. But equalizer does not like that, so we'll do replace. So it's just going to go here. So I did that wrong. Let's do this again. Copy, place, place all, and it got rid of the P as well. So now I have to save this. Go to equalizer. Again, we exported that parked at frame one. It could be any frame you want, but because this is exporting to world space, we have to make sure that we're at the same frame when we're bringing the survey points between Equalizer and Maya. For the camera, it doesn't matter because they're all in world space. It doesn't matter what frame uh, the survey points are where they are. But here, make sure that's selected for that optic group. And we're going to import this pose of uh, the survey points. So instead of new points, we're going to add in the 3D position to our existing points so that's working nicely there and the reason that we didn't say new was that we want to maintain our 2d data here's some additional information about the offsets for frames in the cooper files so in this particular file that we saw before this starts at zero and so what we're going to do is we'll export the cooper file and we'll say here right starts at zero And when we look at the Cooper file, it's what we saw before, that the first frame number is zero. Now let's take the file, and we've got a version here where it starts at 1001. So let's export the camera again. And we're going to call it start at 1001. And then we look at this file. So all the data is the same except the frame number starts at 1001 here. So the important thing to know is that in Cooper, in Equalizer, with the Cooper files, the convention is that everything starts at frame one no matter what. So it doesn't matter whether this is set to start at 1001 or minus 50 or zero. It makes no difference at all. This right here, and by what it says, is frame one. So let's just say it's frame one, so we stick with the convention. So we can see here that the move is wrong, because we're not scaled, and we don't have the new Cooper file in. But we've got the new geometry, so we can check it out. So if I import here a Cooper, and I export the start at 1001, that means that I have to put in minus 1000 because the Cooper file started at 1001 to get the offset correct.
So now that's correct. Now if we we're to import from this particular one that starts at zero. So that's going the opposite direction. We're going to have to have positive one. And it should look exactly the same. Let's just mess it up again to check. So we've broken the match move and now we'll import the Cooper. So different parts of <clears throat> Equalizer and Maya have different systems for how you handle offsets in time.